these lambs I think are coming soon. I am just not feeling the greatest today when I ship them, so. So here is the final reveal. Happy Labor Day to everyone. It all of a sudden looks and feels like fall, which is somewhat depressing because this summer's been so busy that I feel like, I feel like we barely enjoyed it. The weather's been amazing. I need to clean out my barn because these lambs I think are coming soon. The good thing about this pen is if you remember during one of my many monsoons this year, it was flooded. So it has been cleaned within the last month or so, um, which means the pack is not deep. I should be able to get this done in a couple hours. Where I am running into a little bit of a problem is I'm running out of room on my asphalt pad outside, so I'm just gonna have to really get it stacked pretty high. I'm hoping it's not too, too many um, scoops. Uh, it's gonna get moved here shortly. Mark's gonna spread it on a couple fields where we have some cover crops that could use that could use the manure, but he can't take it away right now because we've just had an inch of rain. So I'm just making do, and uh, we'll get set up here. I'm gonna move the ewes, likely. I might actually just move them over into the back of this pen. Just, they'll be squished for a few hours, but they'll be fine. And, uh, and that way it won't get my alleyways all dirty because Carissa gets this barn just sparkling. Like my floor, you could eat off this floor. Uh, so I hate dirtying it when she spent probably a half an hour cleaning it. So I think that's what I'll probably do. It's not too crazy hot today, uh, so they should be all right. Uh, in this video, I'll probably show you just a refresher on these gates, these lambing pens, and where I get them and how I set them up. I'm gonna get some, I'm gonna be doing some rearranging in my utility room with all my lambing kit and my, uh, my shelf. I was inspired the other day uh, during our peer group. I had a good visit with my friend Carrie and I looked at her shelving unit it's exactly like mine, but everything's in its own little container and everything's labeled and beautiful, so I am inspired. I want to do that as well. Next couple days will be me cleaning, organizing, prepping, and mentally preparing for what could be a very busy week, either this week or next week, probably next week. Okay, they didn't want to come over here because this feed doesn't have as much corn as that feed. So there's nothing to lure them over. But they're not in here for very long. Dog out. And um, yeah, so I'm going to open up that gate at the far end. I might have to move that milk machine. But we'll see how I can maneuver down there.
Okay, I got the heavy out. Now I just take my pitchfork and my scraper and do it the old-fashioned way. Another day, another clean out complete. It looks pretty good. So now I'm gonna put mamas back in here and then they can lamb whenever, okay? Well, you guys, it's been, took a little bit longer than I thought. I had some visitors this afternoon, but we got her done and I'm going to continue cleaning up. But as for now, it's getting late. I am, uh, I'm kind of tired. So we will check in again in the morning. Hey guys, it's, uh, what are we now? It's Tuesday, but I like to call it, we call these Monday slash Tuesdays. We call them moose days because they feel like Mondays. It is already after lunch. I took the morning to do some logistics. I had Krissa come in and do chores for me today. But this afternoon, before I organize my utility room, which is what I have to do before lambing, I'm just running across the road here to weigh my market lambs because uh, I have to kind of get them, I have to keep them moving uh, because once lambing starts, it's gonna be hard to get these guys to market on a weekly basis so I'd like to so Jess is gonna help me weigh right now it won't take long because they've been through so many times and the more a lamb goes through the better it is I am just not feeling the greatest today uh, there's been some tragic news in the area and I'm like pretty devastated right now so it's been a tough little last couple hours just like yeah there's been it's a farm accident and I think it's it's I don't know. I don't know anything. I don't know any details, but it has thrown me for a loop and I feel like I can't even move. So I don't know if anyone else gets like that when, when it's just so close to home and you know the person that, uh, I don't know. It makes the little things not worth ever being upset about because, uh, this stuff's big. I'm going to hang out with my daughter and that will make it better today. Okay, so we started off not great. Um, I turned it on and it was dead. I used it yesterday and I guess I left it on. So I had to run back to the other barn and get the charge cord. So I think now we are ready to go with my helper. So I am once again going under my target. I usually do 105 pounds and over, but I really want these guys kind of moved out. So I'm going down to 95 pounds and over. Um, I'm hoping most of them be over 100 because with shrink, then I'll be closer to that 95 tomorrow uh, when I ship them, so.
TikTok performance. Okay. Shall we? Okay, that was maybe a record. That was pretty fast. But we only got 11. Stats on that group. Minimum weight was 95 pounds, like I said. Max was only 105 for an average weight of 99.4. So... By the time they get sold, they'll be easily down to about 95 pounds as an average as a group. So that seems to be okay. Uh, the, this is the bottom of the barrel. These were my April born lambs. So they are what they are at this point. That's what, um, so either next week or two weeks from now, I'll just ship the rest as a group. Uh, they're kind of just the tail enders. And then I'll keep you guys posted. Hopefully I'll be kind of into lambing by then, but but hopefully if I remember, I like to do a report all the time of my tail enders, uh, just so you know, you know, what kind of worst case scenario these guys are at about five months of age. <laughs> I look like, I look like a, no. Okay, this is the room I need to organize. It is a mess. I literally, I went from lambing to lambing to lambing, I feel like since December and, uh, it just, when I finish, I don't even look at it. So I want to get that all cleaned out. So that's before. Not sure what to do here either. I might get rid of this table. Use that inside and put a shelf back here because I really do need storage. This is a really small room. It's only about 10 by 10. And if I had done anything different, when people ask me what would I do different, I'd probably make this room twice as big. However, I'd probably put twice as much stuff in it. So I don't know what to say about that. What do you Do you doing? want me to make some chili? Ooh, yeah. If you tell me how to make it, I can put it in the crock pot. Okay. Okay, bye. Bye. She's making me chili. Oh, they look so cozy. I'm gonna set up like four of the lambing pens and I'm gonna put them how I put them in my barn just to get give you guys a feel for um, why I use them, what they look like, how easy they are to set up and tear down, and then the logistics of how I do it once lambing starts. Okay, these panels are six feet long. No, five feet? Five feet long, I believe. There's, so I have the, the long ones go kind of this way. So width-wise, and then the, the, uh, the other panels are four feet long and they go four feet deep. So I will show you that. Okay, let's have a look here. Right here, there's two tabs. So there's a tab kind of high here, and this one's lower. So that's on each panel has one that's high, one that's low, and when you put them together, then they match really good. And that's how it's kind of modular. They build together. You can build one pen, then another pen, and another pen, and I'll show you how I group them together. They're nice and light, and for what I use them for, they're perfect. Uh, they don't do well when you hit them with your loader. I've done that as well. Uh, but for lambing jugs, they are amazing. So let's talk a little bit about why I have these. So these, when I'm lambing inside, the problem with having them all lamb in a pen like this is they're lambing close together. They're, they're lambing in close proximity, but they're also lambing kind of at the same time. And when you don't have a lot of that space out, there can be confusion. So I do like to put the, the babies and their moms in these little pens, four by five pens, for 24 to 48, 24, 36 hours, just depending on how many lambs she has uh, and how many I have lambing at the same time. They're also called bonding pens, and that's, that's actually what they're doing. So uh, lambs really don't have great eyesight, so they go a lot by instinct, so smell, sound when they're in here there's they're so close that mom and baby they talk to each other a lot you'll see that lambing they'll talk to each other a lot the lamb does lots of runting and smelling she gets her nose kind of up in under their kind of in their leg pit kind of right between their udder and their leg 
and that's that scent and they catch that scent and it, they are amazing once you let them out into the big pen again when they're done lambing or when they're done bonding uh, it is amazing they can be at the other end of the barn and they can hear they can hear mom and they go running that's kind of my lambing pen I'll set another one up and then you can see how they just go together This is how I set up for lambing. If you guys have questions or comments to how to do it better, which you all know how to do it better than me, throw it in the comments below for anybody that's looking for ways to improve their lambing facilities. All right, let's go do some cleanup. Before. So my shelf is empty, my floor is full, uh, I'll show you the after because this is embarrassing. I'll just give you guys the, uh, the after, you saw the before, here's the after. So I just moved the table from in there out to here. Uh, I just want this stuff handy for my milk machine, I've got some tools and gloves and some extra hose. So that's kind of what I want handy, my Wi-Fi extender. So here is the final reveal for this room. Ta-da! I have everything in their own little bins. I've got my anything I need for lambing issues is in here. Some uh, calcium boroglucanate, uh, glycol, lube, um, some dexamethasones in here too. And then this is just medications, just what I had uh, laying around. So I have some mycotil, some penicillin, oxytetracycline, thiamine, bloat stuff. And then my syringes and my needles are behind. They're in their own little container. So all the kind of medications on that drawer or on that shelf. And then all my lambing stuff. So uh, colostrum, I don't actually like scooping out of there. So I kept the old containers and I dump them into there. I've got all the, if we have any lambs with broken legs, I keep all my vet kit here for that. And then down here is just random. Here's my uh, euthanasia gun. Um, hopefully that I don't have to use. This is all milk machine stuff, cleans out the hoses. My cedar stuff is in here. And then up here is just odds and sods, my cleaning supplies, my bottles and uh, tubing stuff, my paper towel, which isn't anything. Cleaning supplies, I just, this was all just such a mess. So yeah, it's looking pretty good. And then over here are the things I just keep handy, right? My, um, my Yeti, my Gallagher system. I like to have close to the plug just so I can charge it. So that's that kind of shelf. Uh, down here, this is just some random extra containers I had and just keeping, keeping them handy. My lambing kit, first aid kit, scale for calibrating my milk machine, my bricks, uh, the milk, what's that even called? The refractometer refractor meter and then just my extra loop so everything kind of has its place for now it's nice just to have a day uh, a wet day where I was forced to be inside I like to take this time just to organize organize life before lambing starts quite often I'm caught with my pants down not literally but figuratively and I don't seem to be always ready for lambing and uh, this time I feel pretty good. Guys, thanks for being here. Thanks for keeping me company. Today's kind of been a bit gloomy and uh, I just glad you're here to keep me company. Take care. Have a good rest of your day.